Shalom Akim. First and foremost, I want to give all praises and all glory to the true and living power, which is Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai Ba'ashim Rekal Kodash. Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father. Yahweh Shai is the true name of His only begotten Son. And there is no God beside them. And I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, who definitely rule well, who have taught us this truth. And honors and citations to the elect Akim doing these works in sincerity and in truth. All right, so real quick lesson, man. What I want to get into, man, is, uh, you know, when we ask our people, man, you know, by our people, I mean, so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Natives, all right, which are the true Israelites, all right, uh, that the Bible speaks of. If, if you ask them, you know, what's their nationality and they catch an attitude or they say uh, uh, or they get offended, you know, just because you ask them what's your nationality or they say black or uh, Hispanic or, or, or anything other than, you know, the nation of Israel and, 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 and their respective tribe, then that means... They're not keeping their garments, you know. So let me um search that. Let me get that scripture real quick in the book of uh, Revelation. Right, Revelation sixteen and fifteen. It says, "Behold, I come as a thief." The words of Yahweh Shai. Behold, I come as a thief. Blessed is he that watcheth and keepeth his garments, lest he walk naked. And they see his shame. Okay? So part of keeping your garment is keeping this truth. You know? And when you go to, matter of fact, Ephesians chapter 6, verse 10. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of the Most High that you may be able to withstand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places, whereof take unto you the whole armor of the Most High, that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all, to stand. Stand therefore, having your loins girt about with truth. See? Part of keeping your garments is keeping the truth. The truth is, you know, we are the Israelites, man, of your of, of our respective tribes. So somebody say, what's your nationality? I, I'm an I'm a uh, uh, African American or whatever, so forth and so on. Then you're not keeping your garments. Your loins ain't your loins ain't girded, man. So which means what? That you won't be able to withstand. All right. Uh, uh in that day as it says in verse 11 put on the whole arm of the most high that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil all right so you you won't be able to stand man if you don't if you're not walking around with truth okay you ain't gonna be able to survive. You're going to be uh, uh, put down, man. And ultimately, being able to stand is going to be able to resist that MOTB. When all hell breaks loose out here and it's looking like a it's looking like a horror movie out here mixed with crime, mixed with action, all your genres in one mixed with a thriller. It's going to be. Yahweh Bashim Shai, you know, and Yahweh Shai, especially according to Revelations 3 and 10, who says he himself is going to keep us from the hour of temptation. So long as we do what we got to do, we're going to be able to withstand in that day, man. We're going to be able to tell them, man, we ain't taking that, that, that MOTB. We rather take our chances out here in the wild, you know, amongst these people out here acting crazy, amongst uh, uh, wicked gang, gang members, amongst wicked Edomite. Uh, uh, factions amongst the famine all of that 
we're going to be able to stand up with our heads high, man. Strong in the spirit power of Yahweh Hashem Shai. Because we did all we had to do. We we continuing on, standing there for having your loins girt about with truth. And that's what we did. Somebody asks you what your nationality is, man, you know, and, and you're not being a, a subtle, right? You're not being a, 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 as a wise serpent. You know, you should, without hesitation, say what? You know, I'm an Israelite from the tribe of such and such, man. Because that's the truth. See, that's why scripts say we're tearing down strongholds, man. See, vocab, he don't want us to say the truth. He don't want us to, to, to have our loins girt about with truth. He want us to say, oh, I'm an African-American. Or I don't have a, a, a nationality. Well, that's not the truth then, man. See? So if Yahweh Shai was to ask you, hey, what's your nationality, man? Oh, I'm an Israelite. Bon God, you know, Israelite son of Gad, or or such and such, man. And you can say, all right, you know, all right, you got your loins girt about with truth. It says, and having on the breastplate of righteousness. Okay, and and and, and what's what's righteousness? Having faith. As I said about our forefather Abraham, let me get that real quick. Galatians 3 and 6. Even as Abraham believed the Most High, and it was accounted to him for righteousness. So because Abraham believed in Yahweh Bashem Shai, he was accounted to be righteous, to be one of the righteous. See, so us believing... In Yahweh Bashem Shai, and not just by by words, but by actions, means that we have on our breastplate us knowing the hundred percent truth, not just the nationality, but the hundred percent doctrine as well, is us having our loins girded, man. You know. So if you ain't coming correct, you ain't going to be able to stand in that day. And a lot and how many of our people don't even know their own nationality to start with? That's milk. How many of them are going to say, oh, oh, I'm a Muslim or oh, I'm a Christian or oh, I'm black. I'm African. I'm an Asiatic black man. I'm, I'm a uh, Puerto Rican. I'm Hispanic, Dominican, so forth and so on, man. I'm one of the originals. Or they'll just straight catch your ass, man. What does that matter? How many of them gonna give you that a stupid fucking answer, man? But then they still want to walk around with great pride. They still want to act like uh, uh, they the shit. <laughs> <laughs> It says, and your feet showed with the preparation of the gospel of peace. You know? Above all, taking the shield of faith. And you can't have faith if you if you don't if 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 you don't know the truth. How are you gonna have faith but you don't know the truth, man? That means you having the faith in another God. Because the God of the Bible, he, he says that uh, Esau is the only nation that wasn't given, that wasn't promised mercy. So if you, but but if you come and say, man, I got love everybody. I don't know what you're talking about. And I got faith. So then you got faith in another God. It's going, man. We got to, like the scripture say, if we don't pass a danger set before it. How shall we receive mm -hmm. the inheritance, man? You know? So, hey, man, we got to go through this. Lord willing to be this year, you know? 
introduce your chick, make it look cool, make it look convenient, make some people get it, bring in the discussions. Oh, I wouldn't get that. Oh, man, I mean, it's pretty cool, though. I mean, it did help my grandma. But, you know what I'm saying? It, 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 such and such, you know? Cause your little false, your little FF, to where now you say, look, it's not a choice no more, but now you have to get it. And let's, and let's get the fuck up or out of here, man. You know? <laughs> but, you know, that's in the uh, 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 eyes of Esau. All right? But in actuality, man, the, the, uh, uh, which we got to remind, got to start myself first of all, got to remind ourselves the, the, uh, uh, the, uh, the, uh, let me just get it real quick. Where was I? Uh, I believe Proverbs, uh, 16 and three Esau can't do nothing of his own will. You know? Let me see real quick, man. I believe it's in Proverbs. Yeah, Proverbs 21 and 1. The king's heart is in the hand of the Lord. As the rivers of water, he would turn if it whithersoever he will. Okay, so really, it's your Haobashim Al Shai. Okay, who will let you, who will give you the green light and allow you to do certain things. But you ain't on your own time. Really, you're on your Haobashim Al Shai's time. All right. Even though they wouldn't even admit that, you know, because they say by the strength of my hand, I have done it. Well, if by the strength of your hand, by the strength of your hand, you've done it, then hurry up and uh, 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 bring out your MOTB. But it's not on your time. Low oil man is edifying. With that, I'm going to say Shalom.